Hello and welcome to this Christmas quilting video. Today we're making a set of traditional Christmas stockings and a set of more modern Christmas stockings. So let's get into it. For the modern ones I used scraps, mainly some greens, a lot of whites and creams, a little bit of red and orange. And for the traditional ones I used the Yuletide collection by My Mind's Eye. I used these templates from Sunny Day Supply which I'll link below and they were perfect. I was so happy with how they worked out. For the scraps, for the diamonds, when I was using a directional print like this stripe, I did them one at a time and cut them out really carefully to make sure everything was straight. And for the non-directional fabrics like this print, I did them two at a time. I made sure to have two diamonds of each fabric for each stocking, so there was a bit of repetition and continuity there. For the traditional stockings, I didn't film it, but I lay down all of the fat quarters in a pile and I cut out this rough stocking shape, making sure there's a bit of space on the edges there. And then I used my ruler to cut straight diagonal lines. The layout for both the traditional stockings and the modern stockings was pretty random. You can see this traditional one is very green, some of them were a bit more red. Um, and for the diamonds, I just made sure not to touch the same fabric to itself. I didn't want to cut um, more diamonds than I needed, so you can see it was quite close to the edge of the template, especially here, you can see how much um, the seam allowance made those diamonds smaller. From here, the process was very similar to any quilt top. For the straight lines, I sewed together two or three at a time, and then I pressed them really carefully to make sure that everything stayed in alignment and my lines were really straight. Then each time after I'd pressed the lines, I got my template back out and just made sure that I was adding the new lines in the right spot so that the whole template would be covered. Um, at the top here, it wasn't too much of an issue, but you can see later on, I was really concerned about this part here where the template goes in and then out again. And then that whole toe part of the foot, you can see the angle there. I was worried about cutting some of that off by accident. So I went slowly and carefully just to make sure that everything was covered the whole way. The diamonds were a little trickier and took a little more care. Uh, I'd made strips of diamonds just like this, making sure everything lined up. And then I sewed the strips together. You can see here the quarter inch seam for getting these diamonds straight is so important. You can't line it up straight, you've got to offset it a little bit. So there's that triangle sticking up at the top and then with your quarter inch seam, you'll sew along it and that's what's gonna make the edges line up perfectly. Once my strips were together here, they all got a good press downwards and then I was able to sew them together. And you can see here, the tricky part again was that you can't just line them up like this and flip it over because that's not going to give you straight corners. You need to fold it over and line up your previous seam line with the extra little triangle part of the other piece. It's a little hard to explain, but when you do it, you get your ruler out and you see that where the quarter inch lines up and it makes a lot more sense. And you can see here how well the corners all line up there and you don't lose any point. These second seam lines just got pressed open and then it was just a matter of repeating, repeating, repeating until my stocking front was all done. Then basted like normal onto the batting. I pinned the template on so it wouldn't move and then I cut out the stocking shape. And now you're probably thinking, why are you cutting it out already? You haven't quilted it yet. And yeah, I jumped the gun a little bit and I did it 10 times. I cut out all my stockings without quilting them. And then I realized um, I was a little worried about shifting and everything, so I sewed a straight stitch right along the edge there that will get hidden in the seam allowance later. And I also pinned um, a lot. And then while I was quilting, I went nice and slow and it was all good. There was no shifting. For both the modern stockings and the traditional stockings, I just quilted a straight stitch along all the seam lines. I didn't want it to be too busy or too complicated and this was nice and easy. For the backing, I did things the right way. I again pinned the template onto the backing fabric, uh, making sure to flip the template. So now I had a quilted front piece with the stocking facing one way and a back piece facing the other way, like you can see here. 
for the traditional stockings, I quilted some straight lines, trying to make them uh, perpendicular with the other front lines. And I did it much more sparse than the front, just a little bit to keep it together. For the back of the modern quilts, I used this diamond pattern and I just uh, quilted around a couple of the diamonds here and there. So again, very sparse, not too much. You can barely see it, but it's gonna keep it together. The lining was quite easy. I folded the fabric in half so I could cut out two pieces at once, pinned the template to it, and then I ended up with two pieces for each stocking, one facing left, one facing right. The final piece we need is the loop to hang the stocking from. So you can see I pressed the skinny piece of fabric in half, pressed the edges into the middle, pressed it in half again, and then sewed along the edge very carefully. And then that gave me a good little piece of fabric with all the raw edges hidden to create a loop like this. I tried two different ways of combining all this together. The first one, I sewed the quilted back to the lining back along the top here, and I sewed the quilted front to the lining front along the top. Then I pinned the whole piece together and sewed all around it. I did not like this method. It was really hard to uh, place the little loop in a good spot and it was much harder to get it all in the right way at the end. I struggled with that a little bit. So here's the way I prefer to do it. Uh, make a loop with that uh, skinny fabric we made, place it inside the fabric for the lining like this, face together a couple of centimeters down from the top. I start with that side of the lining and sew all the way around the edge double stitching over the loop and leaving a little bit of a gap just below that to pull everything the right way later. Then I repeat that again minus the loop with the quilted front and back and then we end up with two pieces like this. We've got the quilted front and back together and the lining front and back together. For the quilted one I cut out a few notches in all of these curved parts to make it a little less bulky at the end and then turn the quilted piece right side out, leave the lining right side in and place the quilted outside into the lining. You wanna line up the top and these two side seams and pin along the top. You also wanna make sure that the loop is tucked down inside so it's not hanging out the top and it's not going to get caught in the stitching we're about to do. Probably gonna have to take this piece off your sewing machine to be able to fit it on. And now we're just going to do a straight stitch all the way around the top to secure it all together. At this point we take the gap in the lining and pull the quilted piece out. So the quilted piece is right side out again. Play around with the lining to get that right side out. Now we're just going to stitch up the gap we left in the lining. You can see here I just used my sewing machine. You can see it but it's not super obvious and it's secure. Now we're going to press the top especially and do one final finishing stitch all the way around the top like this. As always we're going to finish off by looking for loose threads, cutting those off and giving it a good press. And there we are, two sets of Christmas stockings all finished. The traditional ones I sent off to a family member and the modern ones um, hanging up in my house now. And you can see how they fit into my brighter, colourful Christmas decorations. I added these gold sparkly initials just hanging around the loop. And now we're all ready for Christmas. Thanks for watching.